and to details. President Abdel Fattah Sisi attends on Saturday the launch of the first international industry exhibition, which is organized by the Federation of Egyptian Industries at Al Manara Conference Center. The event is organized marking 100 years since the foundation of the Federation. The exhibition, which is under the auspices of President El Sisi, is expected to include a number of mega pavilions displaying various industries, on top of which is the sector of engineering industry as well as the manufacture of machinery and equipment. President Abdel Fattah Sisi made an inspection tour on Friday in the integrated car city. During the tour, the president was briefed on the work pace of constructions of the city. The 57 Fadden city is located at the intersection of Muhammad Naguib axis with the Al Mahaga road with a capacity of 4,000 cars. The city has 10 entrance gates and is provided with an updated information technology infrastructure and an integrated set of services. The city contains many inspection and maintenance centers in addition to shopping malls, administrative buildings, banks, notary public offices and also civil protection, ambulance and traffic buildings. Foreign Minister Sameh Shukri participates in the preparatory meetings of the Arab League Council, which will be held in Algeria on Saturday. The ministerial meetings come within the framework of preparing for the 31st regular session of the Arab Summit, which will be held in November in Algeria. Foreign Ministry spokesperson Ahmad Hafiz said Shukri will also participate in the meetings of the Arab Foreign Minister's Council. The meetings will tackle the agenda and draft resolutions, which will be presented to the summit. The Ministry of Interior continues its daily campaigns to control markets and follow up the prices of strategic goods. The Ministry of Interior detected cases of withholding goods and selling them at higher than the official price. 521 supply cases were detected, amounting to more than 142 tons of food and non-food commodities. In the field of subsidized goods, more than 17.5 tons were seized, while 723 cases of violations were detected. Italy's Prime Minister Giorgia Meloni said she will attend the Climate Change Summit COP27, which will kick off in Sharm el-Sheikh next month. President Abdel Fattah el-Sisi has invited the Italian Prime Minister to participate in the summit, saying he is confident that Italy is capable of playing a positive and constructive role during the upcoming summit. The President also said that Egypt is looking forward to boosting bilateral relations in the framework of strong partnership that unites Egypt and Italy in all fields. The Coordination of Parties, Youth and Politicians, CPYP, held a seminar in the Lawyer Syndicate within the sessions of the National Dialogue. The session tackled opinion of the lawyers on cases in courts and digital transformation. Members of the CPYP listened to proposals which aim to improve the judiciary system. Ukrainian forces attacked Russia's halt on the southern city of Kherson while fighting intensified in the country's east. The battles came amid reports that Moscow-appointed authorities have abandoned.